I'm out here at Sheila Lake, south end of Lebanon, Oregon. Feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but it's not quite like that actually. As you can see, I'm kind of really on the edge of town. There's a sound you don't hear in the wilderness. Now that is a coffee from McDonald's, and yes, I'm close enough to that McDonald's where if I wanted to, I could probably lob a 38 special round into the park a lot, but I'm not going to, I'm not inclined to. I'm just here to see if I can enjoy a warm can of chili cooked on my homemade beer can camp stove. In case you're wondering what's on top of my coffee cup, that's my new Optica 4000 milliamp solar charger. And of course my straight field knife. I had to use that because I forgot to bring my can opener. Yes, to reiterate, because I know it would be brought up, that is my truck about a third of a mile away over there. I took the long way through here. Cheetah Lake is so awesome, even though it's not a natural lake, but more on that later. In a previous video, I have my little contact lens saline solution turned into a alcohol container that fits into my camp stove. I sure wish I had a assistant out here to help me show how to strike this with the fire starter. <clears throat> Alex, Eric, but I'll improvise, adapt, and overcome. Just like I've been reading out in the outdoors in the bright light, that flame has all been visible. I'm having to look for heat waves in the shadow. Yeah, it's on, but not nearly as warm as I was hoping. Hmm. Yeah, but I probably could have done okay to build a bit of a wind block. But I think we're cooking. Took a little break off camera type of activity. Come back up on my site here. Oh yeah. It's usually taking me four or five minutes. He's easily taking 15 or 20 out here and twice the amount of fuel. I can't help but think that that might be related to the temperature. But hey, I'm just about to be successful. Just about to have a nice bowl of hot chili. So far this has taken a lot more time and effort and alcohol fuel to uh, get to be successful compared to my nice cozy shop where I play around in. So I'm glad I'm doing this piece out here in the field. Well, field, yeah, that's what this is. My fire just now flamed out for the second time. Let me see how warm this stuff is. Mmm. Not blazing hot like in your home kitchen, but definitely enough to warm the cockles of my heart. Oh, yeah. This is living. Yep, this is nothing like wilderness survival. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up. Glad I'm not in my underwear. Okay, everything is restored back to its natural, pristine state. How's that for leave no trace? Uh-oh. Someone's tracking me out here. Oh, wait. Those are my tracks. I suppose while I'm out here I can do a maintenance run on my middle finger up geocache. Yeah, I can do that. Watching the charging indicator LEDs on my solar charger. The four bars means it's receiving a full charge and the two bars means it's currently at half charge. Coolness. And here I am back at Casa de Pablo. My footage in the field ran out because I had no more storage space on my iPhone. And I had originally planned on using my flip cam out in the field, uh, but it wouldn't turn on out there. But of course, now it's working here. It was an easy fix. I just had to 
take out the battery pack and clean out the contacts. So I would have needed that assistant after all to show how I strike that cool dead gummit. Anyway. I wouldn't have needed that assistant after all to show how I strike that cool fire out there, but it's just a lesson learned on uh, making sure your equipment is in top-notch working condition before you head out in the field. I hope you enjoyed watching this video half as much as I enjoyed making it. This is Pablo Max. Stay safe or keep on cashing.